Um, I uh, am a uh, forklift engineer, MHE engineer, um, working all sorts of breach trucks, uh, um, electric, I'm electrically biased. Um, uh, I actually really enjoy uh, working for, for Lindy. Um, it sounds like an advert, it's not an advert. Um, uh, while I was there, I was lucky enough to uh, work on some of the automated range uh, P-Matics. Um, amazing machines. Like uh, I was a car mechanic, um, an HGV mechanic and, and whatnot. Um, and then I worked my way up, did a couple of inspection jobs and I got on to, to Lindy. And uh, I was that interested. Uh, I, I mean, I did... Um, uh, uh, harder in network in school and various bits and bobs. I don't know bore you with it, but I've always been interested in, in, in programming and electric, so um, I, I, I took it as a, 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 a thing to shine. Um, and yeah, so uh, I worked on automated uh, trucks, first generation, uh, P-Matics, um, and the pull my heart and soul to that. It was, it was great. Um, uh, I consider myself very lucky to work in the, the, the like the Teslas of the uh, the forklift world, if you like, and uh, a lot of programming, uh, mapping, uh, and whatnot. Um, I've been mad for for been mad for any sort of robot since I was a kid, um, and obviously it's obvious it's obvious because I'm building the Johnny Five. I must be mad. You know, a bit of a running joke between my friends. I'm not sure about the Johnny Five community, but anyone who starts a Johnny Five eventually ends up going mad, um, and I'm well on my way. Um, <laughs> um, so, I suppose I should give you a tour of my workshop. Right, so. This is my uh, uh, laptop. I use that when I'm in, in inside, uh, not prison, home. <laughs> I use that for um, uh, designing, CAD coming, printing, making G code, toolpaths, all those sort of things. Um, uh, that's a, a beer. I've been at a family barbecue today, so uh, yeah. Excuse me if I'm a little bit flippant. Um, that's my uh, dedicated uh, CNC computer. Uh, that's me noise cancelling headphones, uh, which are great because in this little room, when I've got the CNC going and uh, I've, I've got the uh, compressor going and lathe and all sorts, it's great to have noise cancelling headphones and and you don't have to listen to all that. Like I said, I've got I've got a, a CNC machine. Um, uh, I think it's CNC 3040. Um, I converted the spindle um, uh, after speaking to uh, Dave Stapler. He was very kind enough to uh, to, to show me how uh, what he did. Um, I don't know if it were possible on lower powered ones. It was all new to me from the beginning. Never did anything like that. Um, but it works. I've snapped no end of end mills, pushing it too hard, and. Uh, yeah, it, it does what I want. It does exactly what I want, so I'm quite happy with it. Um, it's also got a miss system. Uh, very, very rudimentary. Well, like the rest of my garage. Lights and... <sighs> you don't get much more thread in the shed than this. Um, well, this is it all, isn't it? A rag over the, the top of where it draws the fluid from. Um, that's This is my uh, lathe. Um, when I first started uh, doing the, the old Johnny Five thing, I didn't, I didn't know whether um, I would need one. You definitely, definitely need a lathe if you're doing a Johnny Five. You have to have a lathe. Um, and I mean, it's been a godsend. I couldn't believe the stuff you could do on it. I mean, I'm no, like I said, I'm no machinist, um, but it, it's amazing what you can do it, and they're really easy to use compared to a CNC machine. I mean. Without going on a tangent too much, a CNC machine, if you're letting it do its thing and you make the, the smallest of mistakes, it will scrap the work. Whereas if you're using a, a lathe and, and you're careful about it, um, you can save it. You, you can go, oh, that doesn't sound right, there's something wrong, it's juddering, and you back it off and you can save your work. So I, I like that. I, I, I do like it. Um, so, some things I've made very, very quickly. Um, uh, some bearing housings and 
various other bits and bits and bobs, other bearing housings that are waiting to be drilled and tapped and whatever they need. Um, yeah, so um, as, as far as I'm aware, the, like, uh, going back to the lathe, it's a, uh, a Denim Junior, um, uh, though it's called something else. It's called a, um, a Henry, uh, Henry Mills. Um, uh, from what I can trace back, it's, uh, it's about 80 years old and it's, it's doing its job. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm I'm very very happy with that. Um, Four hundred quid I am anyway. Bit of a steal off an old chap who used to make uh, old old racing cars. <laughs> um, so uh, I'll show you the uh, the main attraction. So this is uh, this is the cradle base. Excuse my big tongue. Uh, cradle base with the track drives. It's, uh, it, it amazed me how big it was. It's it's huge. It's uh, there's a big bit of kit. I've, I'm just holding it on so it doesn't mark it. But but all the uh, the linkages are, are done so that they they stay parallel when it goes up. Um, I'm gonna have to do some sort of modification. I didn't realise it, but if you if you look right right down uh, inside, new memento. Uh, so looking, yeah, so if you look at the, the main bar, there's some screws just down here. Um, I need to make them count sunk. I didn't realise I had to, because um, when I pull it up, uh, um, it actually fouls on these screws, um, which you, I didn't realise, so I'm going to have to make them count sunk. Um, spent an un unreal amount of time on that. <laughs> a silly amount of time. Uh, I've also got the uh, midsection uh, here, which I'm currently in the, the process of machining and doing bits and bobs. I'm actually uh, looking to uh, modify uh, the Anaheim automation um, gearbox motor, DC motor, um, and using the ASME uh, motors, which are used in well, pretty much everything in in the Johnny Five. Um, use it for shoulder hook. Uh, um, e even the, the the Fabco neck cylinders up and down, turkey neck drive. Use it in that. But um, just comparing the stats and everything, it makes sense to be able to to modify that uh, more from a, a safety aspect. Um, um, for example, I uh, know it, it, it well. It moves three hundred degrees, um, which is not quite the I think people want the 360 so it can look directly behind. Um, I say look behind, the entire body can turn 180 like in this scene and short circuit one way. Um, it spins round and, and it's got a stone in its hand and it's stopping the saints from shooting them. Um, yeah, that would be ideal. I mean, I suppose if you step it down uh, on the uh, gear ratios, you could you could get to do that. But other than that, it's comparative in near enough every single way with the, the advantage of... Um, the fact that it's a servo, it's controllable, so uh, I'm quite happy with that. Um, so th this is this is my like I say my workshop um, punch bag, which hasn't been used nearly enough, um, and uh, we'll move into the house. It's yours, am not. Wife's lost the lot the conservatory. Hello. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> so this is inside my house. Um, I've got my old uh, model, three uh, D printed model parts. Arms included. Um, obviously, I'll, I'll still fit the arms and whatnot, but uh, and covers will be good. But a lot of it's sort of just gonna end up being thrown away. This is my uh, shelf, and various different heads, and my lip lights, which took me a month to design because I used a few meters and bits and bobs. Uh, some 
e-motor um, waiting to be fitted and the Johnny Five head so it's there quite happily there it's again um, I've got the, the laser in bits um, just need sticking together and spraying the paint in full sized spools and spools of things uh, I've been ready <laughs> been ready to uh, get rid of but I can't, can't really get rid of them yet um, All the Rex Nord track drives, got all them. Oh, I've also got um, hiding in there the Sabre Tooth um, dual 60 amp um, waiting to go. So that, that, that as soon as my Bane bots arrive, and uh, I've got to try and figure out a, a suitable power system, that'd be uh, that'd be good to go. Um, and obviously, I've got my 3D printer down there, which is my Prusa. Mark three um, served me very well last couple of years. Very little problems with it. Um, so, yeah, that's a introduction to me, and uh, hope you're all keeping safe. Uh, and that's that. <laughs> Take care.